<laughs> so here we are at Max Hideaway, the number one choice for people on witness protection. <laughs> Worst way ever to start an AA meeting. All right. <laughs> yeah, I am a. I grew up in an, uh, in an alcoholic family in an alcoholic environment. And they say when you're surrounded by people that drink a lot, you eventually become a heavy drinker yourself. And I had a bit of a drinking issue. Uh, you know you're. Uh, you got. You got a drinking problem when you go to brush something off your face, but it's the floor. <laughs> or if you pull up on a DUI checkpoint and it's in your driveway. <laughs> Yeah, or you think you're doing jello shots out of somebody's cleavage, but it's actually two watermelons at Kroger. <laughs> Excuse me, sir, you're gonna have to buy those. We're not taking them back. I was a blackout drinker too at one point, and that was scary the first time it ever happened, because I remember I was at a party drinking really heavy, and like the next minute I remember, I'm, the next minute I'm like naked, and at first I thought it might have turned into a werewolf. But then werewolves, when they come back to becoming human, they're not surrounded by empty beer cans. So that's why I crossed the bear. I was driving here tonight, and uh, it's, you know, it's a nice it's a nice day outside. Past this car, dog is uh, sticking his head out the passenger window. And you know how dogs are when they're in the car, they stick their head out the window, they just love the wind on their face. He had such a happy look on his face. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm looking at his face, and that's when it hit me. I've seen that look before on the faces of guys at strip clubs. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, 